right there. Hope you guys liked it. Give credit to my friend. Um, he didn't have like a huge account, but yeah. Anyway, bye. Uh, wait, my bye. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm Nif Nifty Nesta, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing my pet tarantula, Sid. Now, Sid is a Mexican red lump tarantula, and he is very big. Well, not very big, but like he's pretty big. Um, so, oh gosh. Um, put this back in. Here. So, this is his little enclosure. Well, it's quite big for tarantula, but anyway. So, he always hides in there. Um, when he was smaller, he had a coconut, a little like carved out coconut, which he liked. And here, I've kept the humidity high, it's 85. And the temperature in Celsius, it is 19. And in Fahrenheit, it is 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, so, as I've said, Sid is a Mexican red rump, and he has molted four times. Uh, by molt, I mean he has shedded his skin so he can grow out bigger. It sounds pretty disgusting, but it's true. Um, and I'll show you his shedded skins over here. Okay, so these are all, oh, wait, I'll get it in the light. So these are all just skins of him. He's molted four times, so he's gone rid of his skins four times. And this is his most recent one. And I'll just show you how big the fangs are. Wait, let it focus. Focus, 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 focus. Nope, uh, there we go. Yeah, so they're pretty massive. Okay. Um, and... Sid, uh, he eats crickets, like you would expect, like Stan, um, and he has this little LED light, wait, why was I closing this, um, and he, all he does is really just sit in here, and I have to pour a lot of water in there to keep it humid, and it needs to be humid, otherwise he can't molt, and he will die during molting and when he molts he goes onto his back so if you have a tarantula and it goes on your back and you freak out it's okay it's normal i did have one tarantula which died because this is my second tarantula uh it got trapped inside its skin and i still have his body from about a year ago yeah uh yeah uh, and so sid is uh, he's pretty big yeah, and I'll show him right now. So I'll take this out and then open this. There he is. Now, one of yum 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 his weapons or like defense weapons um, is from his abdomen. His abdomen is the back, so in other words, the butt. Um, and so from his abdomen. He can shoot the hairs out, which, if it hits you in the eyes, you're probably going to be blind. If it hits you on the hands, it gets really itchy, trust me. Um, it's happened to me before. Only once, though. Um, so, you don't want to make him feel under threat, or he will do that. And Sid is more aggressive than my previous tarantula, which was a... Mexican, no, not Mexican, a Chilean rose tarantula, who obviously comes from Chile. And I'm pretty sure that Sid is a female since she molts, or he, because I'm not 100% certain, like a lot, a lot, a lot, and then they'll slow down. The difference between males and females is females will molt tons and tons and tons and then they'll slowly slow down. Um, and Males will just molt once, twice, or three times even, and then they just stop. So I think Pat Pat, my previous tarantula, was a male, and said, I'm pretty sure, is a female. Uh, so yeah. You have to keep the cage humid. I can't remember if I've already said this. Uh, I know. Um, is so, because when it's humid, it means he can molt. And, um, 
I guess that's... Oh, oh yeah, there's one more thing. One more. If your tarantula loses a leg during his molt, like Pat Pat did once, um, then don't worry because the legs will always grow back and they have eight legs. Some people will say they have like ten because the front parts are called the... I think it's palps, 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 something like that. Anyway, you can research it. And he, they have tarantulas have from like, I think it's four to eight eyes or something ridiculous like that. And that's it for the video. Bye guys, don't forget to subscribe and lick the like button or eat it. I mean, in fact, don't break it or, or do not eat it because then the other people can't hit it. Okay, bye guys, I'm going to end the video now. Here is a little video of Sid eating a cricket. I've put it in slow motion so you guys can see.